Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be out here once more, bring this message of light to you, this message of truth, this message that will inspire you to look inwardly, to discover your identity, to be your divinity, and for you to love yourself and accept yourself just as you are, and to come to the realization that you're the Lord and Master of your destiny, and that you can create your reality consciously. That's the reason why I want to speak to you concerning Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia, who I refer to as my ancestor, and also the mentor of Neville Garden, of whom many around the world today are benefiting from the lectures of Neville Garden, as Neville was taught by Abdullah in a very strange and peculiar way. And many might see it as an unconventional way, but when you look at the results that many are inheriting from such teaching, you will understand why Abdullah had to slam the door in the face of unbelief. So that is what I want to speak to you about, how Abdullah slammed the door in the face of unbelief. Now we are told to ask and it is given. To knock and it will be open. To seek and you will find. Now what is a door? A door is an entrance, it's an opening. It's a, it's a, it's a, a gateway. It, it's, it's a place of going in and coming out. So the same place that you go in is the same place you have to come out. So if you look at a building, naturally speaking, it will have an entrance and an exit. For example, I think many years ago I heard of a, a nightclub that didn't, it had entrance but it didn't really have any exit and there was a fire and many many died because it was an exit and the, the the owners they were charged for negligence because if there should be an entrance there should be an exit also okay in these parts i'm living when people have their house we we, we we call that part the back door so we say there's a front door and there's a back door okay now neville who was brought up by his parents into believing that the Bible is literal and that the Bible is secular history, was still dwelling in a place of doubt and fear and belief. Now, if he's dwelling in a place of doubt and fear and unbelief, he's dwelling in a place of limitation. And anything that limits, it stagnates. And anything that stagnates, it smells. It has a, a, a odor that is not refreshing, that is not encouraging. Therefore, when we look at the symbol of the devil and the symbol of God, we can help but see it from a psychological standpoint because everything begins with a thought. Everything is false an idea. So we have to see the devil as a negative thinking. Your self-doubt. Why are you thinking in terms of lack and limitation? And we have to see God as a higher mind. Where you're thinking of abundance, where you're looking all around you and you can see abundance. You can see prosperity. You can see positivity where you're thinking in a positive way where you have a, a, a higher mindset where you're not living in, in, in a place of worries and problems where you're not living in a place of mediocrity therefore in that case I can say Neville through the upbringing of his parents and the upbringing of society he was literally serving the devil, which is his lower self, which is the place of self-doubt, which is 
dwelling in the place of limitation. And Abdullah, who understand that true genuine love is corrective. He also know that he was being very patient in teaching Neville all that he need to learn or need to know concerning the Kabbalah and how to interpret the Bible and how to understand true Christianity. Now when it was time to get out of the realm of theory and come into the realm of the practical where he must prove for himself the evidence because faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Knowing that the greatest teacher is the experience. Abdullah had to show him now the other side of, uh, of love, which is the corrective side. It's like you being a parent and you have your son or your daughter and they're in the, in the road and a big truck is coming down the road at full speed. You're not going to say, Tom or Mary, can you please come out of the road? There's a big truck coming your way. No, you're going to scream. You're going to act in a such a way to get their attention. And so Neville, being like the child, acting in such a way, Abdullah being one who would have preceded him in the awakening and was dwelling at a higher level of consciousness. Teach him by his action, by going into his studies and slam the door when he was speaking about being taught class. And Abdullah said, no, you have gone to Babylon, you have gone first class trying to get him to stay in the realm of knowing that he's first class trying to get him in the realm of believing in himself loving himself embracing himself trusting his own human imagination to be the creator in man having him to believe in in his god self teaching him how to put his his, his, his foot up on the neck of the devil which is his lower self, teaching him how to conquer death, hell, and the grave. Teaching him how to become an overcomer. So, my brother and my sister, we have to slam the door in the face of religion, politics, education, and everything that want to keep you in limitation. We have to slam the door in the face of racism. Division, partiality, all of these things that want to keep us in the humanistic realm. We have to slam the door. And so we're going to offend some. If not many, we, we offend a lot of people by standing for the truth. By standing for what we believe in. By believing in our own selves. By believing that we are the Lord and Master of our own destiny. While many believe in religion, especially in Christianity, they will be offended because we claim our true identity to be our divinity. And because we are pointing humanity to look inwardly, to discover themselves and to bring value to the rest of humanity, to tell them that greatness is within you. That you can do all things. When you discover your Christ self. To tell the rest of humanity. That when the Bible says that with God all things are possible. It also says if thou canst believe all things are possible to you who would believe. Showing you your oneness with God. Showing you that God and man are one. So even now as I speak to you, my brother and my sisters, I am slamming the door in the face of all unbelief, all doubt, all fear. 
all systems that have been set in place to keep us in a place of mediocrity. To have us speak in a language that is not beneficial. To have us speak in a language that doesn't align with our identity. To have us speak in a language that doesn't align with the rest of nature. To have us speak in a language that doesn't align with divine mathematics. Because when we understand divine mathematics, we'll understand our divine self. We'll understand our infinite self and understand the infinite source from which we harness all the, all the power that we so desire to achieve our goals and our dreams. So my brother and my sisters, Abdullah slamming the door in the face of Neville Gallard was symbolic. And a person can put it in whatever way they see it. Because in one way, using the, the symbol would be able to help someone. And in another way, it might be able to help someone again. So that's the reason why also I, I, I wrote that book, The Black Mystic from Ethiopia, Never Got a Mentor, and I channeled it, that book a certain way. And it's been channeled that way for that time, that season. When is it time to revise and put it in another way? Those who are coming in at that time to read it are ready for that way also. So my brother and my sisters, it is all very important to depend on our intuition, the inside teacher to lead us and guide us. That's the reason why we all have to have a mentor. Because remember, the divine of reproduction is that every seed and every species reproduce after its own kind. I wrote a book called Can't Be Proven Wrong by Any Christian to show that principle. Many people miss that principle how deep it is. That's why I just want people to do not get caught up with all the information that is out there. Because those who are bringing the information, where did they get it from? What was the first seed? That's why I always say I do not speak things that I do not experience. I wouldn't have been here even speaking to you hadn't it been that I would have had the experience of awakening within myself. That's what qualifies me. Nothing else could qualify me. I have no books that I am reading or anything like that. And I want to say this, if I had prior knowledge concerning these things that I'm speaking about before, uh, I was going doing a, a bunch of researches and all of these things, it might have hidden me because it might have get to my head. My ego might have taken control. But I'm so grateful. That's why I can say this is grace. And so, Abdullah, wanted Neville to experience grace. And he wasn't doing it the typical way that society tried to teach us. But he was walking away from him, turning his back on him, and not closing the door gently, actually slamming the door in his face. You can either accept it as an embarrassment or upliftment. So it's how you receive any message that, is, that, that has come your way. That's why I normally say nothing is right or wrong. It's only thinking make it so. It's how you receive it. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I can go on and on and on. But I want to end here by saying, when Neville received Abdullah's action from the place of love, then he saw the manifestation. And today, Everyone is benefiting from Abdullah slamming the door in the face of unbelief, doubt, and fear. But in that time, it would, have, it would have been looking as if he's slamming the door in the face of his brother. And people who have the wrong concept of love, they may have said, that is not love. Why is he behaving that way? How could he be a holy man? How could he say this? How could he say that? Because they're still in the realm of the flesh. 
And that which is a flesh is flesh. But that which is born of spirit is spirit. So with that being said, and we know that we are spirit having a human experience, I want to say to you, live in the spirit that you would reap the benefit from your mentor. And always remember the principle of sowing and reaping. Give to where you are receiving spiritual food. That's the reason why I provide you a patient that you can be a patron and that you can invest or make the greatest investment by learning the principle of giving and receiving because giving is receiving so with that being said my brother and my sisters i want to thank you very much i want to encourage you to share this message if this message means anything to you you will know that then it should be shared also if it's resonating with you and you haven't subscribed already i'm encouraging you to subscribe to like or you can comment and always be reminded that this message i bring to you it is the single eye message of self-realization of which Matthew 6 22 teaches us that if your eye be single your whole body will be full of light and had it been that i would have experienced that light i wouldn't have been here bringing this message to you for had it been that i would have awakened within myself as a fiery being and holy and holy when and ascend up and high having the single eye being open within me and knowing that i have awakened out of the dream of life i would not have been putting my hand right above my crown chakra sometimes i late on my crown chakra but i know it's right above the crown chakra you're going to be on the brain you're going to be on everything else and you come to understand the crowning of the pyramid you will fit the missing pieces therefore you come to realize that the greatest experience can never be known intellectually it must be experienced and many try to interpret all things about the pyramid and the meta nature or whatever the name is i can't even pronounce the name properly because i'm not an intellectual you see but my brother and my sister when you have the experience you come to realize that it is the rising of the s-u-n in a s-o-n and that is the dawning of a new day in your life and you will come to also understand that the pyramid is the statue of a perfect man and you will come to also Realize that the sun parallels the human imagination, the human imagination parallels the sun. And the sun is what powers all of humanity. Therefore, my brothers and my sisters, my encouragement to you is to use your mind power, your sun power, your God power, your solar power, your creative power to achieve your every desire. And say thank you, Abdullah, our ancestor, Neville Gala mentor. So that means I want to say peace, love you all. I'm out.